Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I have posted anything and I will explain the reason sort of as this video progresses. But I just want to say Merry Christmas to everyone and I hope everyone had a lovely Christmas and I hope everyone has an amazing 2018 that's full of fun and happiness and most importantly good health. So I left this channel saying that I was having my annual MRI done back in November and I said that I was really nervous about it and I had that MRI done and it was actually the best MRI that I have had and I had a really great radiographer who for the first time actually explained what was going on whilst I was in the scanner so she really reassured me and said this next image is going to take four minutes and it's going to be really noisy and then she would tell me when that was done and it felt like I wasn't just shoved into the MRI scanner, I actually knew what was going on and I could kind of count down until I could leave. So that's like the first bit of good news that I have for this video. The MRI went so well and I feel so much more confident about having them every year pretty much for the rest of my life. <laughs> And then a week later I had an appointment with my neurologist to kind of give me the results of the MRI um, and I was quite nervous for the appointment but also excited to actually see what was going on in my brain in terms of like disease progression or any sort of disease activity. Um, so I think for, for anyone who has MS or any sort of serious um, condition, going to see your main doctor is always going to be a bit um, of an anxiety provoking incident. But I went into the appointment and the first thing that my neurologist said was, I can't, I don't know why I have this appointment with you. So I sort of explained oh well I had my MRI done last week and he was just said oh yeah started loading everything up and he said whilst he was loading up so the radiographers had nothing bad to say about the MRI and I just felt my whole body just like breathe out and just relax I was so happy um and then he loaded up my previous MRI so if you have watched my first video um Number one, I'd recommend you do that so you sort of know my story, how I got diagnosed. But you will know that um, I got diagnosed very quickly and suddenly I had an attack out of the blue. Um, and I had an MRI the first day that I went in hospital. I actually ended up being hospitalised and paralysed and all that good stuff. Um, so he loaded up that MRI and he loaded up my uh, most recent MRI and compared the two. And it was amazing. Um, you could see the lesions in my brain have all reduced, some have even completely disappeared and if I can work out how to put the video, um, because I recorded them back to back, um, on the screen I'll do so now. Um, so you can see that my most recent MRI is the one on the right and that was compared to my first MRI which is the picture you can see on the left. Now the first picture isn't actually as bad as it got for me so all of the white splodges that show up are lesions and um, there's quite a lot there. I also had two lesions in my spine but that's not as bad as it was. I then had a repeat MRI when I got out of hospital six weeks after this image was taken and I actually had more white lesions in my brain. I had two more um, and the white bits from memory were a lot bigger um, but you can see that comparing the two the one on the left is so much more improved and my brain is healing itself and some of the lesions are completely disappearing. That obviously was completely amazing to see. I had been picked up out of my normal life in August 2016 and dropped into this world of having aggressive multiple sclerosis and didn't know what it was, didn't know what it meant. So for a whole year after getting out of hospital, learning to walk again, getting my life back together and not knowing what was going on in my head and not, not understanding the condition at all, I finally felt 
that after that appointment I can actually relax and I understand what's going on. I know that I've had no other issues in a year and also I will just say that that is due to having Lemchada treatment, which is the disease modifying therapy that I chose. So if anyone is interested in Lemchada, you can see, physically see the results, you can see it worked for me. I had really aggressive MS, like I couldn't, a lot of people have messaged me saying, no, don't get these intensive treatments on your body, heal yourself naturally don't have chemotherapy, there's other ways that you can do, change your diet, do all of this and whilst I agree with that to a point and I personally would have loved to have treat myself naturally, I am very like holistic in my approaches of treating things, I would much rather treat myself naturally but for me I, that was just not an option, my MS was going for me, I couldn't just sit back and try and treat myself naturally because within the space of six weeks I had developed more lesions in my brain. I don't know where I would be if I didn't have that Lemchada treatment when I did. Um, and I will just say that, you know, every person is different, every case is different. Just for me, I don't think that treating myself naturally would have worked, but that doesn't mean that I don't agree with people treating themselves naturally because I believe so much that diet and lifestyle and having no stress and exercising plays such an important part of managing all types of serious illnesses. I do that as well as have pharmaceutical treatment. But yeah, so going back to the appointment, he showed me that and then he made me do the sort of standard neurological test, like put your finger to your nose, like stand on one leg, stand with your eyes closed. And he just said, yeah, you know, pass with flying colours. Like no one would even know that anything had happened to you, which was just so amazing to hear him say that because that is what I am aiming for. Like for me, that is a huge achievement for him to just say, wow you know, from where you were to where you are now is completely amazing. And he said, you know, congratulations, obviously you've put in so much work and I honestly have put in so much work. I put in so much work and uh, to recover the way that I did. And I pushed myself in situations where I wanted to run away and hide, like social situations or going out, you know, with my friends like I used to and going out for the evening and whatever and I pushed myself in those situations where I just felt so uncomfortable, so awful while I was there, I forced myself to do it and I forced myself to um, to run, to go to the gym, to do everything that I w didn't want to do because I was, felt so alien in my body after having this attack. Um, it's nice that I got some recognition for that and um, yeah, it was just, it was just really nice. And he's such a serious man and he was honestly grinning ear to ear for me, so happy for me. And it was just, it was just so nice. Um, so last time I went and had an appointment with him, when the doors closed in the reception, I burst into tears because he had just diagnosed me with <laughs> multiple sclerosis and this time I went back a year later and as soon as the reception doors closed after I left the appointment I burst into tears again but this time it was like happy tears at me and my dad came with me to the appointment me and my dad just had a little tear because it was just I'm actually getting emotional again it was just everything that we wanted to hear we heard and it was just like a complete 180 of the last time we were there oh so yeah, the last time I was there, I was picked up and dropped into this world of having multiple sclerosis. And I honestly felt like I was dropped as a person and shattered into a million pieces. And I spent that whole year rebuilding myself, making myself strong again, um, trying to desperately find all of these a million pieces of myself that were lost. And I remember saying to myself in my head so many times, like, you're never going to be the person that you were before. You can't have gone through something so huge and life-changing and be the same person. This is who you are now. You're just going to have to, like, get on with things. And I remember just being 
so so gutted last year and just not feeling like myself and just feeling like I completely lost myself but this is so this is so stereotypical thing to say but to everyone it does get better and I have honestly rebuilt myself over this past year into a better person than I even was before and I'm completely back to my old self and everything was amazing the only one thing that was lurking over me was this not knowing what was going on inside my head like not knowing how my brain was if I was actually having attacks but not having any symptoms for it has the treatment worked that I've put myself through so that was always a niggle at the back of my head and it just felt like that appointment just took away this blanket of worry from me and I honestly feel like the most like full person again now like I don't have any worries about my condition so uh, that's why I haven't posted anything for a while from August 2016 when I woke up and I couldn't feel my arm and my leg ended up getting paralysed, hospitalised to the end of November when I had that appointment with my neurologist. Every morning I would wake up and I would expect to be paralysed. I would think about multiple sclerosis 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. I would be going out and smiling and having fun but all the time I was thinking about it. I was like obsessed and terrified with this condition that I didn't understand, didn't know anything about. And then after that appointment, it's just completely changed everything again for the positive and I don't think about things anymore. So that's the reason I haven't posted anything because it's been that one time in over a year where my mind is clear and I haven't had to think about anything. So yeah, I took, I took a break from it all, but I'm back. I've started something that's helping people, so I'm gonna keep making these videos. Um, on that note, if anyone has any video ideas that they want me to make or topics they want me to talk about, please let me know because it's hard to come up with all these things by myself. I am in such a happy place now. I am so happy and focused for 2018. I know what I want to achieve. I know I can achieve it. So yeah, I hope that everyone has an amazing 2018 too and thank you for following me along with my little journey so far and I will see you in my next video.